first round. She has a hell of a will, and I think she did a good job. Morning, guys. Our first morning in Da Nang. Last night we had a pretty funny night. We went to Sky 36, which is the tallest sky bar in Vietnam. It started raining, but we were able to have like uh, an hour, an hour, an hour and a half on the balcony, which was really cool. All right, we are in Da Nang. We got a taxi from our place in Hoi An to a hotel we were gonna stay at, and it ended up just having the worst Wi-Fi ever. So we bailed on that place, we got our passports back, we didn't have to pay anything, which was nice. And we walked down the street and we ended up staying at a really cool hostel called Fantastic Hostel. Great Wi-Fi, really good upload speed actually. But now we're just on our way to go to the tallest sky bar in Vietnam. Funny enough, it's only on the 36th floor, I think, but it's at the top of the Novo Hotel. Our cab just dropped us off at the wrong spot, so we're walking across the bridge. It's over there, but it's a pretty nice sunset, so it should be very beautiful. That's where we're going. We made it. We just had to huff it like almost a kilometer by foot because their taxi guy didn't make the cut. And then from there we went to a pretty nice restaurant actually, got a bottle of wine and had some nice cuisine. Today we are figuring out where we're going tomorrow. We're going to take the train down to Muni, but we're going to be stopping in Nha Trang uh, to start with. We have to head to the train station to book the train. Ideally we take an overnight train as it's like a 10 hour train, but I think the only option might be leaving at tomorrow at 1 p.m. So it'll be the majority of the day, which is okay because it's an opportunity to do a bunch of work, do a bunch of editing. Right now we're gonna go to a GoPro store, a GoPro distributor here in Vietnam, actually only a kilometer or so away from us to get some GoPro accessories. I wanna get either a chesty or a head strap and a frame for the GoPro as we're going to be doing some repelling and canyoneering, so that'll be pretty awesome. <laughs> the most impatient girls that ever were. No, Justin Get is away the from slowest me. human. going on a map but we don't know the directions or the address so Lee is just trying to figure out if we can get a cab there. It's only two kilometers. I kind of want to walk. It's actually decently cool right now which is very surprising. It's only like two kilometers. Yeah, like we're right here and then it's just right there. Should I sit in the front? Girls handle everything, I love it. All right. What's up, man? How are you? Hello. up with this? They're really combining a whole lot of different genres in here. Castle, brickwork, modern stonework. Look at that.
Leah thought it would be a great freaking idea to get the cab to drop us off hundreds of meters away. <laughs> What's up with all these abandoned buildings here? There's just an entire block of these abandoned buildings. Actually, that building looks like half abandoned, half not. Yeah. Not abandoned. So and it's like the staircases have steps on them. Abandoned. Guess you wouldn't have to worry about your neighbors. It's still so funny to see these buildings all over Vietnam that are honestly 10 to 15 feet wide and just straight up. Some of the skinniest buildings I've ever seen. on TripAdvisor have been so annoying. Every time we find a place that we want to go to and try and go there, it's just totally wrong on the map. So we're looking for a Mexican restaurant right now that has really good reviews, but we cannot find it. So it's Hang. Like Hang is it hangry? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, what's up? <laughs> we had to split up, couldn't find it. I went one way, girls went the other way. I was secretly looking for a store called Silver Sun, which is a GoPro dealer. Didn't find it, so girls found the taco place. Heading there now. There it is. There it is. We made it. GoPro stuff, and now we are at the train station booking a train tomorrow night to where are we going? Nan, Nan, Tran, Nan, Tran. So we're just booking that right now. Place. We had a full day out and about. We had to go book a train going to some place. What place? We are going to Natrang. Natrang, we had to book a train for. And we went to the train station and booked the train and then found out. So the thing about we needed a train tomorrow, we need a train tomorrow, and it was all booked up. So we had a little bit of a problem. We want to take an overnight one and do the soft sleeper, which is a comfy bed. There's only four beds to the room, but they were all sold out. So we said we'd take the one at 1 p.m., but she screwed up and gave us a hard sleeper, which is six beds to a room, which is just, the rooms are so small. And Two rooms. And we had to do two rooms, so there'd be two of us in one room, one of us alone with five people in another room, and it was in the middle of the day, so. Not that we're not sociable, because we are sociable. But we are sociable. It's just being confined. There's no common room or anything. Just be confined to these little beds for 10 hours. But unlike this situation where you have bunk bed, bunk bed, the hard sleeper is one, two, three. In a ceiling that's probably Very half cool. of this. And so it's hard sleeper, which means that there's no mattress, it's just hard. You probably have about this much room, so you're kind of, it's kind of like sleeping in a coffin. 
So we went back to the transition to get the seat soft seats. Soft seats. We have not had a good old fashioned of street foe in a little while. So that is tonight's mission. Then it's back to work. Got plenty of work I need to do tonight. So it'll probably be a late night, but that's all good. 